Hello, this is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Why couldn't I see it when it was right under my nose? One thing I have learned is that we are never too old to have a revelation. We are never too old to start finding out things about ourselves, about life, and what we can do to make it the best years of our lives. We are never too old or too young to finally have that aha moment in our lives. and welcome to Life Over 60. I would love to have you subscribe, so if you haven't, just click the notice below and the little bell to be notified whenever I have a video coming up. I don't know why I couldn't see it when it was right under my nose. As you know, if you're following me, you know that my husband, and if you watch the beginning of this video, the lead-in, you would probably guess that my husband and I went on a cruise and we just got back uh, two days ago. It was a wonderful cruise. Um, it was the first time that we had ever taken a music cruise. This was a rock cruise. It was called Train Sail Across the Sun. Now, Train is a very popular uh, rock group in the 90s and they have hits today as well. But we went on the cruise because our son, Emerson Hart, was playing on the cruise. So we thought, why not? We were celebrating a 35th anniversary. So why not combine our 35th anniversary with being able to uh, be on a ship with my son and his wife and, and her family? So uh, off we went. Well, there was one thing that on that cruise really opened my eyes and changed my life. And do you know what that was? Everyone on that ship was happy. With all the things that are going on in the world around us that are not so pleasant, everyone on that ship was happy. They came from Australia, all over the world, all over different parts of the country, just to see their favorite rock groups. They had one thing in common, one big thing in common, and others as well, but the big thing in common they had was music. And the second thing that they had in common was that music was making them happy. Now, Arthur and I have been on a lot of cruises. We spent probably a total since we've been married of three years at sea. That's how many days that we have cruised in our lifetime. But I have never been on a cruise where Every single person was happy. There was joy all over this ship. I couldn't believe it. It amazed me. People were kind to one another. They were laughing. They were participating in all of the entertainment and really just having a wonderful, wonderful time. I came home and I thought about that. And I thought about happiness. What makes happiness, and what does it do for us? Well, one thing that the scientists have found out, that happiness does generate longevity. Happier people live longer. So it's not always the quantity of our life, but sometimes the quality of our life, the years that we are here, really depends upon our happiness quotient. And there are two things that they categorize as happiness. One of them, the first one, is the sense of well-being. 
that means a sense of gratitude, being happy and enjoying what you're doing, um, living your life to the fullest, getting pleasure out of each and every day, and finding sunshine in every day, even though there may be shadows and rainbows lurking all around you, even within your life. You find that one ray of sunshine that makes you happy. So happiness actually is attached to a sense of well-being. Now, the second thing in happiness is, believe it or not, and this may surprise you, the love of learning. They have found out that people who enjoy life the most are open in their minds to learning a new language, learning a new skill, learning about life itself, just the interest in learning about someone that you know, being interested in life. And that's basically, I think, the way that I interpret it. You are interested in life and you have not lost the pleasure of living and finding out new things about yourself and really wanting to explore new avenues that you maybe never have ever been and followed before. So it's a sense of well-being, and that well-being also is attached to gratitude. And you know how much I've talked about gratitude being such an important thing in our lives, being able to be grateful. So part of that well-being uh, equation also has to do with being grateful, having that gratitude every day. And that gratitude, in turn, gives you a sense of well-being. That well-being, in turn, equals happiness. Also, we'll go back to the love of learning. The love of learning is uh, anything. Learning more about your partner, learning more about your children, learning about more ways to deal with things in your life. It's just you are always open to exploring new things in your life. And you know I've talked about new chapters and not being afraid to to open that gate and walk through and find get rid of your fear and find things that you really want to do with your life to be able to find and follow your dreams. Well, being able to follow those dreams and explore new things in your life is part of that happiness quotient. Well-being and the love of learning. It's just that simple. I really learned something on this cruise. I did. I've always talked about happiness. I've always talked about finding that one ray of sunshine in your life every single day, no matter how you think that things are closing in on you. But it really opened my eyes to how important happiness is. And, you know, I, I was talking to my doctor the other day. I, I went in for a visit, and I told him about my experience on the ship and how everybody was happy, and, and they just seemed so content and joyful. And he said, you know, Sandra, I, I deal with a lot of older people especially, and people who are lonely, who maybe have lost a partner, they've lost their friends. You know, as we get older, that's the reality of what happens. And he said, do you know what I recommend they do? Get a pet. And he said, when they get a pet, they get something that is in the house with them, something to love and pay attention to, and something that loves them in return. He said, I see them rebound, and I see those patients live a longer, happier life. I found that to be really interesting. I did do a video a while back on how important it is to have pets in your life. But I really did learn something on this cruise about happiness and how 
It is wonderful for longevity and how important it is for us to find that one corner in our lives every single day of happiness by being grateful and by never ever losing our love for learning new things and expanding our horizons. I'm going to put a private link below to YouTube to a montage video that I put together of the cruise and of my son Ezra Ray Hart performing on the ship. If you're interested, if you're into 90s rock, uh, you might be interested in watching it. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Um, I'm not too sure that I was going to do a makeup video, but I was so passionate about this, I decided to do this one instead while it was so close to my heart. Please do something good for yourself today, and of course, be kind to whomever crosses your path. And don't forget to share the love. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love each and every one of you. And let's try to find that happiness in our lives. Take care, and I hope to see you in my next video. Standing on the